Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. Animals usually like to stay away from humans and stick to the wildlife. But when humans end up invading their space and cutting down forests to make cities, they are bound to make their way into those cities. From a giant snake on a rooftop to hippos taking over a city in Colombia, we are looking at 10 of the craziest giant animals found in the middle of cities. Wait till the end to watch animals literally taking over all over the world during the pandemic. Let's begin. Number 10. Giant Snake Imagine you are walking down the streets of the already dangerous city of Detroit and you see an 18 foot long snake sunbathing on the roof of a house. What would you do? Take some action or start screaming. This happened in 2019 when a giant snake was found in Detroit. The craziest part is that it actually belonged to the homeowner and her name was Juliet. If she wanted to, Juliet could have probably eaten the dog that was barking at her or maybe even some kid. But the eight year old was a friend, not a fighter. Instead, she climbed up onto the garage roof for safety. But when dozens of neighbors started to gather in front of the home, snapping photos and live streaming it from their cell phones, they all had the same question. What exactly was an 18 foot long snake doing on a rooftop in the middle of Detroit? It was a reticulated python, which is one of the biggest snake species in the world. It's still unclear what the friendly snake was doing on the rooftop, but some person came up with the theory that she probably heard the dog barking and got scared, so she ended up going up to the rooftop to stay safe. What an innocent snake Juliet is, right? Number 9. Chilling Croc when you live in Florida, you should expect to find all manner of reptiles invading your personal space. This was the lesson that a Pennsylvanian couple learned soon after purchasing a luxury home in the Florida Keys. When they first arrived on their property, the couple walked into their backyard which overlooked the Atlantic Ocean. And to their surprise, they found out an 8 foot long reptile friend swimming in their pool. It turned out to be the crocodile that had wandered in from the beach. The couple slowly backed away and went inside the house and called animal control and the local sheriff. When the sheriff reached to check the situation, the crocodile simply had quietly walked away and waddled back to the ocean. This incident gives the lesson to invest in some good pool covers and possibly even a fence so you don't ever find yourself in such a situation. Number 8. City Takeover Residents barricaded indoors, rival gangs, fighting, and no-go zones for humans. Welcome to Lopburi, an ancient Thai city overrun by monkeys supercharged on junk food, whose population is growing out of control. Police in Thailand have admitted that the situation is out of control in the city and has seen a population explosion of macaw monkeys. The population of monkeys have increased at an unprecedented rate, and they are also eating themselves to death. Residents of the city say that they live in a cage, and the monkeys live outside. The fearless primates rule the streets around the Prang Som Yod Temple, in the center of Lopburi, patrolling the tops of walls and brazenly ripping the rubber seals from the car doors. Their antics were largely tolerated as a major lure for the tourist hordes who descended on the city before the coronavirus outbreak to feed and snap selfies with the plucky animals. But a government sterilization campaign is now being waged against the creatures after the epidemic resulted in an unexpected change in their behavior. As foreign tourism, which is Thailand's cash cow, seized up, so did the flow of free bananas tossed their way, urging the macaws to turn to violence. They now attack humans and look for food anywhere they can. If the situation gets worse, they end up eating each other. Isn't that just fascinating? Number 7. Escaped Tiger you will find all types of big, dangerous animals roaming around in India. But more recently, a Bengal tiger went rogue there and was even seen attacking the locals. The tiger charged a man and sent him sprawling into a 15-foot pit today after straying into a town and menacing locals. The Bengal tiger, feared to have escaped from a nearby nature reserve, attacked scores of people and injured at least two. The vicious beast could not be controlled by the authorities, let alone by locals. India is home to the majority of the world's tiger population, which, with nearly 3,000 identified in a census last year. Bengal tigers are a type of continental tiger, alongside the Malayan, Indo-Chinese, and Amur varieties. The tiger was finally put down to sleep after hours of running rogue. Seems like Tom Cruise has competition now. 
Number 6. Hungry Hyena In Detroit, people got scared when they saw an innocent 18-foot-long python sunbathing on a rooftop. But in the famous capital of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, hyenas can be seen mingling around with the humans like they're part of the population. No, we're not kidding. During the night while everyone sleeps, the hyenas come into the city's suburbs and hunt for scraps of meat and animal carcasses that the human carnivores leave behind. Then, just before sunrise, like vampires, they flee to hide in the deep surrounding forests. Hyenas are well camouflaged and disappear from view quickly. Occasionally, you can spot a pair or even three walking together in the search for a hyena pool party. Their bite is stronger than that of a great white shark, and they're reviled and feared in many countries. But in Ethiopia, there is a long tradition of people and hyenas living side by side, tolerating each other. Some people point out the creature's benefits. They do, after all, provide an excellent animal waste disposal service. They also keep the feral dog population under control. Number 5. Bear Attack Bears are some of the most vicious animals on planet Earth. Even though they look cute, who are we kidding, most of them look like they're going to eat you alive. It is always best to stay far away from them, especially black bears. But if you live on the island of Honshu, you have no other choice but to live with them. In 2016, four people, including a 74-year-old woman out foraging for wild plants, were mauled to death by bears in northern Japan, prompting authorities to warn citizens away from forests in the area. The woman and three men were all found dead with evidence of severe injuries over four weeks in Akita Prefecture on Japan's main island, Honshu. Local authorities were unable to identify Suwa Suzuki, the 74-year-old woman, because the attack on her had been so severe. The female black bear was shot dead at a short distance from the spot where the woman's body was found. A piece of human flesh was found inside the bear's stomach when it was examined. How scary is that? Number 4. Cows Grocery Shopping it is easy to underestimate cows, mainly because they just stand around chewing and you can confuse their contentedness for a lack of ambition. But in fact, cows just know what they want. There are estimated to be about 1,100 wild cows roaming the streets of Hong Kong. Back in 2019, four cows stormed the aisles of a local supermarket and raided the fresh produce section. Local newspaper Ming Pao reported that the wild animals entered the fusion grocery store and Wo, headed straight for the fruit and vegetable shelves and treated themselves to a feast. Shoppers just kept standing around awkwardly as the invaders ate up the supermarket supply of greens. Number 3. Elephant Rage In this video, the Taipali Festival features a music-filled procession headed by richly decorated elephants. One of the elephants, named Devadasan, was taking part in the event at the Bhagavathi Temple in the South Indian state of Kerala when things went awry. During the procession, Devidson went on a rampage and started picking up cars, scooters, tuk-tuks, and vans with his trunk and destroying them. The clearly distressed animal threw several of the vehicles into the air multiple times before smashing them on the ground as panicked onlookers fled the area. Two elephant trainers were on the back of the animal throughout the ordeal, trying to control him. It reportedly took several hours to finally bring Devidson under control. Number 2. Hippo Infestation you probably know the story of Pablo Escobar, how he ran the biggest drug ring in the world, burned millions to keep his daughter warm and all. But what you probably don't know is that the guy had hundreds of hippos as pets on his farm. Yes, we're not kidding. In 1978, the drug lord purchased a sprawling Colombian estate that he filled with an assortment of extravagant and unusual features. Among them, a soccer field, statues of dinosaurs, a bullfighting arena, and a menagerie filled with rhinos, giraffes, zebras, and four hippos. After Escobar was shot dead in 1993, the country's government seized control of the estate and relocated most of the animals living there to zoos. But the hippos, of which Escobar was said to be particularly fond, were deemed too aggressive and dangerous to move. Left to their own devices, the hippos began roaming around. They formed a feral population in both artificial lakes and the Magdalena River. Now numbering between 65 and 80 individuals, the herd poses a problem to Colombia's aquatic ecosystem. A poopy problem, to be precise. They pooped so much in the lake that they were deemed too dirty. The hippos have even started moving towards the cities for more access to waters. This is what happens when your government does not attend to hippos. 
Number 1. Animal Takeover And finally, we have an amazing event that took place during the ongoing pandemic era. The COVID-19 pandemic has been tragic for many people, as it has resulted in the cause of many deaths around the globe, and much more people losing jobs due to lockdowns. But believe us when we say this, the lockdown hasn't been all bad. Sure, it's a little scary and a lot claustrophobic, but there have been some positives to come out of this current world situation, like Zoom quizzes, Instagram bake-alongs, oh, and all the tales about animals taking advantage of the drop in human activity to have a jolly good time. Hundreds of pink flamingos were seen crowding in Mumbai and painting the city pink. Pelicans were also seen wandering around central London and conquering the streets. Goats were also going to McDonald's instead of humans, and even wild boars took to the streets in Barcelona. Not just that, lions even took over the roads of South Africa. It really was a wonderful time for animals all around the world. Have you ever seen a giant animal in your city? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.